All right. All right, I'm going back into a part three. I want to make sure, you know, I had everything situated. Kind of wanted to refresh myself a little bit. You know, getting off the plantation, did a lot of walk. It takes me about 30 minutes to walk over here and back. No, about an hour, 30 minutes, or 30 minutes to walk over here, 30 minutes to walk back. So I want to just kind of get myself situated. So it's a lock here for the short video, that second one. You know, I try to do at least 30 minutes. That's how much my thing can record. So uh, now we're going to do uh, Proverbs chapter nine, 19, verse 29. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 29. And it reads, judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. See? So you don't want to be a fool, man. Okay? And, 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 and they did a lesson over a scorner. He was, he was, he was, he was, uh, he was scoffing. Not scorning, he was scoffing. Okay? And he was put to death, man. He was put to death, but we're going to read in the NLT so you can get a better understanding. Punishment is made for mockers. See, that's what he did. He mocked them. Scoffers, scorners, same thing. And the backs of fools are made to be beaten. That's what it says in the NLT. The Lord said he's going to beat the fuck out of y'all if you want to keep playing and being a fool. You know? We don't want to be no fool. We ain't trying to get beat the fuck out of by your by Shim Howard Shy. So we're going to look up this word scorner. Yeah, see? To scorn. Make mouse act. Talk arrogantly. To boast. To scorn. To mock deride to interpret language interpreter ambassador to be inflated scoff act as a scorner show oneself a mocker and what's that people come up and say oh well where's your lord where's your how about shim have a where's he at when uh when you're going through afflictions he's right here but that's what we're supposed to do it says the servant is no greater than his master we're supposed to go through suffering if you're not going through suffering and chastisement, then you're not of the Lord, man. And what's even crazy is what we think is chastisement, you know, it's such a light affliction to us. It's like me going to work and, and, and me going to the plantation and being a slave under these people and being all this and having to walk around and walk to the store and do all that. I don't even think of that as affliction. I don't even think of that as, 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 as chastisement, but that's really chastisement in a way, you know? The fact that I don't have much, that's chastisement in a way. But at the same time, I don't even look at it as chastisement. I look at it as like a blessing, okay? These people think they really winning, man. These people is some fools, man. They really think they got it going on, okay? They don't got it going on. This is where it's at. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hawaka Kwadash. That's where it's going on. That's where life is. Period. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. And this is where we're going to switch it over and we're going to start talking about what wise men do. So Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Who's supposed to get instruction from? We already read that earlier in Proverbs. He said, the elders will tell thee. No, he said it in Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 7. 
the first scripture we came out with. He said, they will tell thee. They will instruct thee. That's who we listen to. And like-minded brothers in Great Millstone down on in. Because I know that any of the GMS brothers, what they doing? They listening to the elders and apostles, and they coming back, and they doing lessons. And you know, and some other brothers listen to different elders. You know? So it's not a problem to listen to the different, there's different bodies of, there's, there's, there's different members in the body of a Mashiach. There's different bodies of it. Uh, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up before I move down further. basically means it means anointed or Christ that's what they say is Christ in the paleo Hebrew is a Mashiach you know which is which is the biblical inscriptions that they found in the Canaan in the Can in Canaan okay when they raided Israel in 70 AD they found these booklets and it had paleo Hebrew in it and they changed it what does it say in Revelations when you add or take away from the book? Your ass get blown up. You receive the plagues. So that's where we're getting COVID from. That's where we're getting all this stuff from. And these Edomites, they, they, they know. Okay, they're terrified. And you should be terrified. So this is Romans chapter 12, verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. So we being many are one body in a Mashiach. And every one members one of another. That's why it says, love your neighbor as thyself, which is your brethren, your brothers. We're supposed to love them and take care of them when they need it. You know, so Lord willing, you know, I can be called to do more for the Lord. I try to do as much as I can, you know? I try to do everything I can, and I know that I can be kicked out of the truth at any moment. So I keep trying to increase every day. I keep trying to learn every day. I keep trying to feed the flock every day. And, and, and for me, I don't even have a woman or kids, and it's, it's still a lot for me to balance that with the plantation. How much more for men with kids? You know, so you got to give you got to give homage to those men who, who are dealing with families, you know, and, 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 and go a little bit harder, you know, because that's what gives them that strength when they see, hey, look at this young brother right here. He over here doing this. Oh, look, he had this something, this news article pop up. Now I can do a land back on it. He don't have to say that he got it from me. I've already entered into other men's labor. I'm just a follower. But if it's helping somebody in Great Millstone, hell yeah, man. That's what I want, man. I don't need no recognition. I don't need none of that because who am I? Okay, I'm just, you know, I just got here. I'm late, you know, in my eyes. But my ways is not his ways. He had me wake up when he wanted me to wake up. So I'm just going to go with that. And I'm going to keep myself humble, you know. I'll walk my ass wherever I got to go to go teach this doctrine. But, you know, he's blessing me with the means to be able to uh, go to other places to teach. Because he's putting the spirit on me now. He said, you've been here for a minute. But as you see, people are starting to notice. It's, it's, it's what time is it? It's 1.38. I had somebody pull over here saying, what are you doing? You know? I know this is one place that the Lord wants me to be, because this is a highway and byway in, in, entrance. This is, this is literally 
to get in and out the fucking town in this area, but I want to go over there to that, that, that side. I want to go over there. I want to go to all the corners of everywhere in this motherfucker and show myself. So they can know you. How about Shim How Shai's here, man? He's here. Lord willing, he lets me keep doing the, doing the word. So now we're going to do uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. This, now we're talking about wise men. What wise men do. You know? Ones who serve Yah by Shem Shah. You know, and it's not all of it. There's so much more. We're just going to deal with this. Let me get over here, make sure it's still recording. So, first, Corinthians. 318. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. See? See? And it says that we are fools for Mashiach. We are fools. And we're going to do it in the NLT so those who are new can get a better understanding. Stop deceiving yourselves. If you think you are wise by this world standards, by this world, you need to become a fool to be truly wise. How much more is that? How, how, how slick is that? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. This, 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 this is the twister right here. This, this right here is what it gets you, man. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 10. This right here. I remember when I learned this, I was like, oh, these is the men of the Lord. That's, there they is. Like, it was like that. Like, like you, you, there's no way that you can be someone who the Lord designed to be wise and not see this. You know? So 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 10, and it reads, We are fools for Amashiach's sake, but we are wise in Amashiach. We are weak, but we are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised and who's despised who is hated out of all the camps who hates that they rebuke someone who hates that they always calling everybody out they always hate great millstone man always but when you look up that word fools since when we are fools in the martial is g 3474 okay Moras, right? Moras. So what it says right here, it says from the base word, right? From from the from the base word of it, it says dull or stupid. Okay? Uh, headless, blockhead, absurd, right? So to the world, we look foolish, impious, godless. We look like blockheads to the earth. They like, who, who is that? That ain't that so-called Negro standing on the side of the block. He's retarded. But when you look at the root word, because you got to look at the deeper meaning of things. You know, we're supposed to be deep, digging deeper than the surface. If he tells you that you're supposed to see something spiritually, that means you have to be able to look at words deeper, just like you would look at spiritually. You know, but only the ones that Great Millstone points out. 
you don't want to just look up everything like you're a scholar. So this is the this is the this is the root word of pools. Mysterion or Mysterion, okay? And that means is what it says. A secret or mystery uh, through the idea of silence imposed by initiation into religious rites. A mystery. When you look at the word Proverbs, it means a mystery, a dark saying, a riddle, okay? So now you do outline, hide out, it says biblical usage, outline the biblical usage, hidden thing, secret, mystery, generally mysteries, religious secrets, confined only to the, initial, to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals. We are not ordinary mortals, okay? We are Yasharala, the sons of the living power. Yahweh Shai. But we have been cast down in the earth because we disobeyed the Lord. And this is how he is calling us back through this mystery, which is the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. A hidden or secret thing, not obvious to the understanding. That's why it says what? What's it saying Proverbs? Lean not on your own understanding. Then it says a hidden purpose or a counsel. What's that? What's that counsel? That counsel is great millstone, man. Secret will of men, of Yahweh, the secret counsels which govern Yahweh in dealing with the righteous, which are hidden from ungodly and wicked men, but plain to the godly. See? How you gonna be godly but not be a mini ass God? How can you be godly? And he literally has a scripture that says, Ye are gods. And it says gods, but it's a little g. We're little gods. You know? We're little ones. You know? And everybody else thinks that we're not. It's hidden from those wicked people. Okay? So if you come across this page, and you're listening, that means that the Lord literally put the Spirit on you to listen long enough. Okay? Because you were not somebody who was ungodly. That's how he sifts out the elect. Okay? But Lord willing, we part of that number. There's been plenty of people who have came into this truth doing this and have been cast out. So it says, in rabbinic writings, it denotes the mystic or hidden sense of an Old Testament saying, a dark saying, of an image or form seen in a vision of a dream. That's the root word of fool. You have to be a fool to worship Yahweh by Sim Shai. Compared to this world, that's what they think. That's why they ass gonna get blown up. So see, you see how the wise see the word fool? We look at the whole word fool completely different than the than the ways of this world. They look at fool as, oh, you're you're not gonna uh you're not gonna build a base and, and put a big ass electric fence around it for the zombies? No motherfucker. We're gonna call on you how we buy some house shot. We're gonna stand right here on the block and wait for him. If that's what he told us to do. Which he did. And otherwise, if he tells me to do something else, which will come from Great Millstone, Lord willing, that's what I'm going to do if I'm still around. So now, we're going to do Proverbs. Chapter 3, verse 35. 
and it reads, The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. And you know how it is. Every time we try to put on some damn shit, and we trying to come out and put something out, a news article, fucking Esau, he done damn put a damn promotion on, put a damn infomercial on, trying to sell you some shit. We about to, the shit about to get blown up over here, and this nigga still trying to sell some shit, man. Esau, he done a fucking trip, man. That's why this motherfucker gotta go. The Lord gonna let him do what he do until the Lord take his ass out the way. Lord willing, it's tomorrow. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 1. Okay, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 1 and it reads, Keep thy foot when thou goest into the house of your hour, and be more ready to hear than to give sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil. See, they don't even understand that they're doing evil when they coming in, talking that bull biggity when they pull up over here. But we're going to be cordial. We're gonna, you're going to see, when somebody first comes and counsels me here, you're going to see, I'm going to talk to him like I'm a fool. I'm going to talk to him almost like I'm a fool. Not really. I'm going to talk to him with wisdom, but I'm going to talk to him like, in a, you know, in a subtle way. You know, it says, be as wise as serpents, but humble as doves. So I'll speak subtle, you know. If they want to argue and be all like that, well, what do you know? Damn fucking fool. You say, all right. All right, and you can try to, you can try to be like, well, what about this? What about this? And they still be a fool. All right, have a good night. Whatever. Why the fuck you still talking to me? This all my shit over here. This my camera. This my shit. Fuck you want to still sit over here and argue with me about it for? Go fuck over there and go do that bullshit. I'm literally out here in the middle of fucking nowhere. You literally want to come over here and argue with me? Fucking demons, man. But that, that guy, he seemed like he wanted to know something. He said, what are you doing? What do you think we're doing? We're serving the power of the universe! Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5. They know what this shit is. They done read the Bible. They know that the hopeful elect is out here doing what y'all about to see how the side told them to do. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5. A wise man will hear and do what? What do you do? And will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Verse 6, to understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. That's what we're doing. You listen to the elders, you understand, and you follow suit and keep it the same. Don't change it. Don't change it. You can talk about history about it. You can know you can pull up different things that are edifying through history. like that that kind of just kind of show that it's the same shit going on and whatever is they're saying is new but you want to keep that same doctrine man okay if it ain't broke don't fix it if the lord saved us out of egypt last time this way he gonna save us this time the same way with the same name yeah how was shot they didn't even make no j's 
until 1542. And you know what? I was edified today by my camp leader. And he was talking about how the term white was not introduced until 1680. What's that part of? Psalms 83, them hiding the truth. Man, calling y'all about Shim Howard Shai, man. I'm telling you. I learn something every day. Every day, even if it's a little thing. I learn something new every day. And you know what it be like every day? Moon be out here every time. Every time I come out here, the moon be out here. Every time, man. Every time. And I really like it out here. This, this is my getaway from all the two-thirds place right here. Because two-thirds is everywhere the fuck else in here. If nothing else says you, how about Shim Shy in all Norman, Oklahoma? But I did meet one brother. He might be with it. We gonna find out. Because I told him to text me. And I sent him some videos. And I ain't get shit. I ain't gonna talk to him about it no more. I didn't sow my seed. You think it's a game? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep. Uh, I'm not gonna keep saying shit. And you being like, yeah, that makes sense, and then not doing nothing about it. Man, you got to seek out your own salvation. You got to seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling while these Edomites out here racing in their fucking bucket head ass cars. Isaiah, chapter 19, verse 12. Hold on. Hold on, yeah, I'm at two minutes. We're going to go into, uh, what's that? Well, I did part three, this is part four, so shalom.